Okay, in, uh, in this short video we're going to go through two command line tools, ping and TCP dump. Um, ping is a ubiquitous command line tool, you can find it anywhere, and all it does is it generates a packet that is sent from a source to a destination, and if it's successful it will receive an echo packet that comes back from the destination to the source. So uh, on the screen in front of you I've got two different computers with two different IP addresses that are on the same network. Um, this one over here on the right hand side has the IP address 10 30 72 86 and uh, this one over here I haven't shown you the IP address of yet but if I know the IP address of a computer and I want to test if the network is connected to it or if it is responding I can just use this tool ping and using ping is really simple ping dash c1 and then the IP address of my target 10.30.72.86. What this will do is it'll generate one ping packet and then wait for a response uh, from this computer over here. There we go. So uh, if you ever see this line here or something similar to it in a ping response it means that ping was successful so this means that the echo has been received from the the destination um, you can always see that because it's actually got a round trip time of the packet here which is 0.6 seconds and that's because these two are connected uh, by a very short piece of ethernet cable um, both being in my office and then below that you'll see a ping output which tells you the number of packets transmitted, the number received and the percentage packet loss. Now if I was to ping a, a server on the other side of the world and it went through a less reliable network for example, A this time would be increased and B we'd probably see more than a 0% packet loss. Um, however, uh, successful pings are not always the case. Let me give you another example. Um, Let's say I want to ping another machine on this network, uh, but what if that, uh, that IP address doesn't belong to a machine? What will happen then? So uh, let's change this to 88 and then hit enter. And you can see what ping does. It sits there and waits. It has sent this ping packet, but because it's just sitting there, that means it has not received an echo. It's not received a response. It will wait for a certain length of time and eventually give up, and that's what it has done here. You can see that we've transmitted a packet, we haven't received any echo, and that corresponds to 100% packet loss. So hopefully you can see now that just using this command line tool ping, you can begin to probe members of your network quite easily, especially if we combine it with a bash script, to find out which IP addresses belong to a computer and which ones responds. Now if you get um, a zero ping response, if your ping uh, request doesn't get returned, it can mean a few different th things. Firstly it can mean that there's a problem with the network, secondly it can mean that maybe the IP address that you're trying to ping doesn't belong to a machine at all, and thirdly uh, many Windows machines by default don't respond to ping requests even if they are received. Uh, so bear those three things in mind when you get a zero ping response because any three of them can, can generate that. Um, there's other, other tools to help you figure out which one of these is going on. But wouldn't it be good if we could not just send a ping and sit passively waiting for it to come back, wouldn't it be good if we could see it move down the line? Well that's what I'm going to use this window over here for. So as a reminder, this is a, um, this is a user logged in on that that 10.30.72.86 computer um, and so I can use another command line tool called TCP dump to listen to the interface of that computer. What do I mean by that? Well the interface on any computer is its connection to the network and a single computer can have multiple interfaces if it's got multiple ethernet connections or maybe uh, a wireless chip or, or something else like that. If I want to find out how many interfaces and um, computer has on Linux I type this command ifconfig. What that will do is it will show you all the different interfaces of this computer and if I spread this window open a little bit just to make the formatting nicer uh, and run that again, let me clear that and run that one more time, um, you can see a nice clearly labeled two different interfaces. This one down here don't worry about for the moment, we'll, we'll come back to it later. This one up here is the one that we are interested in, this corresponds to the ethernet cable plugged into the back of my computer and we can see the IP address of it up there. If you're interested you can find the MAC address here, the broadcast address here and the netmask of the connection here and the IPv6 address if it has one assigned. Not all, um, uh, not all interfaces will have an IPv6 or an IPv4 address, they only technically need one. Um, so the name of this interface is EM1 and that's just a, uh, a standard name given to the interface. Long story short, 
that is the interface I want to listen on if I want to hear those ping packets come in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a cool tool called TCP dump. And again, you can run this from the command line. Dash I allows me to choose which interface I'm listening on, and I'm going to listen to that first on that first interface EM1. What that will do is it will listen for any packets coming in through this IP address here, and if it finds any, it will print some some form of report. So as soon as I run this, you will see um, either I don't have permission to run it, so let's give me permission. And what you're seeing there is literally all the packets that are coming into to my computer via its Ethernet connection. Why is there so much stuff going on? Well, it's plugged directly in the, into the ECS network, and there's a lot of traffic coming in and out uh, for all kinds of different purposes, including some software that I have running on this computer. Usually, uh, you wouldn't see this, you might not see this much network traffic. So I'm just going to cancel that for a moment. Um, and instead, what I could do is filter that traffic using yet another command line tool called grep. So uh, a ping packet is an example of what's called an ICMP packet. Uh, it is essentially an error probing packet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that TCP dump command again, and I'm only going to show packets that are uh, packets that correspond to that ICP. Uh, ICMP tag. So I'm just going to clear my screen to make this easier and then run that command grep ICMP. And when you run TCP dump during uh, during the networking assignment you'll probably see it just passively sitting like this and not doing anything and that's because there's no traffic coming in. Um, what we need to do is create some traffic and that's exactly what ping does. So let's go back and run that ping command one more time. So create a, a packet from this computer uh, on the left and send it over to that computer on the right. I'm going to send a single one and what we saw is this packet was successfully sent and successfully received and over here on the TCP dump these two, uh, these four lines here they correspond to that packet coming in. This one here uh, corresponds to the ping packet coming into that interface and this one here corresponds to the echo uh, coming back out and how do I know that you can actually see it ICMP echo request ICMP echo reply so for example if something was wrong with the IP address or the routing on this computer I might see the echo request packet but not the reply and that would be a really clear indicator that I need to take a closer look at the routing system of this computer. But we'll leave it there uh, and I'll see you in the next video.